Well, originally, I was going to be a mechanic. That's what I wanted to do. And then uh, the people around me influenced me to come into the metal field because there's more, more opportunities. They're working hard in school and pay attention and make sure you're there on time because all that applies when you leave high school, too. It's not just something that they do for fun. It's important because when you have a job and you work hard and you show them that you can be a successful person, that's when the opportunities start to come to you and they'll show you which way your career can go and the path that you need to take to get there. It's nice to come in every day and work with the same people every day and have sort of a family relationship, you know, and then to be around people that care about you and working with you and you know that no matter what, you're all going to work towards the same goal and completing your job correctly. Plenty of different areas I can move into. Uh, one thing I like doing at Boatmate is going from department to department and trying to learn other stuff to make myself more eligible for positions if they come up, if they arise, and stick around as a company. After I started at Boatmate, they actually paid and sent us to get welding certification for a 3G welding test. And that we got a certificate for it and everything. And it actually taught, there was some stuff I didn't know about welding, and it helped me out knowing about it. And also the lean manufacturing classes that they offered us to take. It helped you open your eyes. Well, I went through the uh, apprentice program. Um, so, you know, really maintenance is probably not something I ever saw myself doing because I'm kind of a girly girl, I'll admit it. But I really enjoy it. I did well at welding. Um, that's something I learned to do. Um, and I guess I'm a little bit mechanically inclined. And I, I just, I really like it. It's a lot of fun. Offered a job fair, and I really wanted insurance and benefits for my family. I, w I had a salon, and uh, my husband ended up getting a, um, a job with benefits and insurance, and I saw how much it helped our family, and I wanted to offer that. It's, it's just a good opportunity, you know, the benefits, the insurance. Um, the experience that it gives you. I mean, you could take it on somewhere else if you needed to in life, at home or wherever. You know, I've learned a lot of things that I would have never learned without this opportunity. Well, I started off uh, being a laborer, kind of working my way up. Uh, they got me involved in the uh, carpenter apprenticeship, which is a four-year program. Uh, you get part of it with uh, class time, and uh, the rest is just uh, field work and experience from from that and that kind of makes up the apprenticeship. Uh, it's it's raised up what I've been able to do and uh, helped me transition into doing part-time supervision and uh, that's real enjoyable and you get on a lot of a lot of cool projects and uh, work a lot of different places. I, I float around with projects so I'm I could be three or four different places in a week. Well, as far as just the industry in general uh, as long as you're really willing to learn and kind of go outside your comfort zone, do something you haven't done before. Um, uh, I mean, you, you could be doing demoing inside a building one day, you could be doing concrete work the next. It's just uh, really, really just strive to, you know, do good. And uh, I really like showing up on time if there's extra work over the weekend or nighttime work or something like that, always be willing and jump on those opportunities because it can push you, you know, to bigger places. I have to oversee the plant as a whole, make sure that we get our production completed each day, um, including making sure that we have the correct inventory levels uh, and that all of our product is complete and in a good quality fashion as it comes out every day. I worked for eight years at Denso Manufacturing and had a lot of training in the automotive and lean manufacturing world. Uh, while I was at Denso, I, I did have some college courses and, and things like that. Um, as, after taking the job, I've also gone through several uh, lean manufacturing courses and uh, classes sponsored by Boatmate. If you're not really looking to go college bound, it's not it's not a bad thing. Um, there's a lot of companies out there right now that need workers. Uh, we're, our workforce is depleted in people that are in the technical side. So don't be afraid of that. Uh, if, if that's what you want to do and you're interested in working 
with your hands but not necessarily uh, it's not like you're a mechanic or something you don't have to get dirty to say you're working with your hands if you want to be a little more technical uh, it's, it's not a bad thing to do these days and there's a lot of jobs out there and they pay well uh, so if you're interested in that and you don't want to necessarily go straight to college find a good company go to work there and from what I've seen in dealing with companies in our area they all offer some sort of additional education once you go to work so you're not just stopping and going into a career and never getting any more education you can continue your education through working with these companies. Do everything as far from just general routine maintenance every day check off sheets you know make sure the equipment's doing what it needs to do to uh, working on computer PLC programs uh, replacing parts troubleshooting broken parts uh, working in uh, groups with other people and uh, trying to just to keep the equipment running and maintain it daily from shift so, to shift. Um, I went from pretty much nothing the way I feel about it to working for Alcoa was a, was a big it was a big change. It's a, a lot is a lot better salary, really good benefits and uh, the work environment's it's pretty fair. It's not like uh, not like it was a long time ago. I'm an electrician, so we sit down a lot with computers, troubleshoot with computers first. We don't just go there and start swinging tools to try to throw all kinds of parts on. You know, it's a, there's a lot more thinking and mental involved in it now than just physical work all the time.